Here is a lovely diagram of the nucleus and its suborganelles. These organelles include the nuclear envelope, consisting of an outer and inner membrane, the nucleolus, located in the center of the nucleus, the nucleoplasm, which is a gel-like substance between the nucleolus and nuclear envelope, chromatin, which is suspended in the nucleoplasm, ribosomes, which pepper the outer membrane, and nuclear pores, which are holes which allow substances, such as mRNA, passage through the envelope. This short, action-packed clip illustrates the idealistic eukaryotic animal cell. This shows the relationship and scale of the nucleus to the other organelles in the cell. This is a close-up view of the nucleus with its nuclear envelope and pores. The nucleolus is now highlighted in yellow to show its ideal location. Next, the nucleoplasm is highlighted, which consists of most of the nucleus and suspends the chromatin. Although chromatin is located in the nucleoplasm, the majority of this nucleic acid is found, densely packed, in the region known as the nucleolus. In this animation, we'll see the remarkable way our DNA is tightly packed up to fit into the nucleus of every cell. The process starts with assembly of a nucleosome, which is formed when eight separate histone protein subunits attach to the DNA molecule. The combined tight loop of DNA and protein is the nucleosome. Multiple nucleosomes are coiled together, and these then stack on top of each other. The end result is a fiber of packed nucleosomes known as chromatin. This fiber, which at this point is condensed to a thickness of 30 nanometers, is then looped and further packaged using other proteins which are not shown here. This remarkable multiple folding allows six feet of DNA to fit into the nucleus of each cell in our body, an object so small that 10,000 nuclei could fit on the tip of a needle. The end result is that the DNA is tightly packed into the familiar structures we can see through a microscope, chromosomes. It is important to realize that chromosomes are not always present. They form only when cells are dividing. At other times, as we can see here at the end of cell division, our DNA becomes less highly organized. 